Now we are going to start with an activity in which you will get to see an example of decomposition reaction. As you all know that decomposition reaction is actually a reaction in which a compound splits into its constituents or splits into its uh, simpler substances right. And how the compound splits into the simpler substances we know that either by heating or in presence of light or by passing electric current. Here which I am like the activity which I am going to demonstrate will demonstrate the decomposition in the presence of light. So, it, or you can say it is an example of photolytic decomposition. So, what example I am going to take see we have this AgCl. What is the chemical name for this compound AgCl? As you all know that AgCl is silver chloride. This silver chloride is actually sensitive to the sunlight or you can say it is sensitive to the light. What happens when the light falls on it, right? So, when the light falls on it, what happens? It get decomposed, it gets split into its uh, constituents and what are the constituents? As you can see, it is made up of only silver and chlorine. So, obviously, what we are going to get? We are going to get silver and chlorine separated from each other right. So, this is what we uh, like uh, get when we just uh, expose silver chloride to the sunlight right. So, what happens generally the silver chloride what is the color of silver chloride actually it is white in color these crystals are actually white in color. But when you expose it to sunlight with the passage of time they turns to gray because and this gray color is due to the silver because we know that silver is a metal and the metals are generally gray in color right silvery gray you can say. So, it is just due to the decomposition reaction that occur in the presence of sunlight that it gets decomposed into a gray color substance that is silver. Now, the question is that we are like uh, where we get uh, these uh, like where we use this AgCl or you can say why we store this AgCl or other uh, we are talking about any other halides of silver as well. Like if we take an example of silver bromide it happens with silver, silver bromide as well right. So, what happens like there is a criteria that if we want to store AgCl or AgBr we have to store in a colored bottles. So, what is the reason behind these two things? One like why we are storing in the colored bottles is that because if we are not storing in a colored bottle, if there is a transparent bottle it will allow light to enter and when the light will enter this AgCl will just decompose into silver and chlorine. So, just to prevent its decomposition it is stored in a colored bottle right. So, I think it is clear why it is the like about its storage that why it is stored in a colored bottle. Second thing is that that uh, you know that when the sunlight just falls on it the sunlight energy is sufficient to just make the uh, you can say break the bond between silver and chlorine and just to make them separate from each other and we get silver and chlorine right. And you know what is the use of this AgCl? Actually you can say or the popular use of AgCl or any other silver halide it, they are used in black and white photography. So, here I am going to just explain you that how they are used in making the uh, this thing in the white and black and white photography. But in this uh, like the, the what will be the, the activity what I am going to show here we will have to make the silver chloride crystals first right. And we know that we can make the silver chloride crystals by any double decomposition reaction that is by uh, using two compounds. So, just look at the board carefully what is happening in this activity right. So, what happens we are doing we are just going to start with the silver chloride photography see. So, what we have taken we have taken two beakers and to both of the beaker beakers we add the same amount of water that is the 20 ml. Then in the first container what we are adding we are adding the sea salt which, which is NaCl you know that. Right. And the other thing we are adding the silver nitrate that is the AgNO3. So, what is going to happen we are just going to make the solution first. So, this is the AgNO3 solution and this is the NaCl solution. Now, we are just mixing them we are just mixing NaCl and AgNO3. So, what is going to happen you know that double decomposition is going to happen AgC NaCl plus AgNO3 will give rise to uh, this thing uh, the AgCl and NaNO3. So, see what we have got we have got this liquid which will contain contain uh, the result of the mixing of AgNO3 with NaCl right. So, we can see that it forms a white turbid. So, we are just separating the excess water right. So, when we just separate the excess water we see that certain substances are left behind as you can see this settle at bottom this is actually the silver chloride crystals. So, we are just separating on the uh, plain filter paper right the dry one we are just sp sp spreading it in order to make a thin layer 
right so what then we are just drawing this layer we are just making uh, the, uh, this, this thing the, the AGCL settle on the filter paper equally right so it is just making the thin layer and when we are drawing we have to keep in a dry uh, you can say it, uh, it should be away from light because we know that in the presence of light it just decompose now see we have a negative in which we have a photograph we are just putting that negative on that uh, dried uh, AGCL right and what we are doing we are just pressing it with the help of glass we are just putting the glass in order to press it in order to make a direct contact between the negative and the uh, filter paper which carries the uh, AGCL. Now we will be leaving it for a few minutes and then we will be just putting a light with the help of lamp, an intense light on it. We are just, uh, you can say, we are turning the light on and the light just falls and we know in the presence of light this, uh, this reaction take place, you know that AGCL just break into AG and Cl2. Then after 10 minutes just disassemble everything, that the 10 minutes are sufficient, right. So we are just removing the glass, we are removing everything, right. So we are just removing the glass, we are removing the negative and we are just left with the filter paper and just look at the board what you are going to see on the filter paper. See, so we are removing the negative, we have the filter papers as you can see that what is there? There is, there is the you can say a beautifully colored uh, the picture that is that we have on it. So, this is actually you can say the black and white photography that appears on the filter paper as a result of the uh, photolytic decomposition of AGCL. So, this is how it is actually used in the black and white photography. So, the only thing is that that you, you need to like whenever you are storing AGCL, you have to store it carefully because it undergoes uh, the in this thing the photolytic decomposition in the presence of light whether it is sunlight or whether it is lamp light so we need to store agcl properly so that is a you can say a big uh, problem for us to store agcl because we need we'll be needing a colored bottles because we have to keep agcl or any other uh, you can say silver halides uh, devoid of the light right